How's it going, lads? Now I'm more back again. Um, it's been a while since I've been a vlog situation. I've been really busy, um, kind of, you know, balancing the resale and, uh, eBay and, uh, my actual job, but one of them might slow down because, you know, the whole pandemic going on in the world, um, my job now is it's only doing a carry out and delivery, which actually I only carry out because we don't do delivery, so... I'm guessing work's going to be really slow this week, so I'm going to try to spend as much time on this. Um, yesterday, I didn't show you guys I wanted to, but I was just kind of trying to get as much done as possible in the shortest time as possible. I went to every thrift store and pawn shop in my area, just all of them, gathered up a ton of inventory. The only places left to check is Walmart and Atari, which I don't really think I'll find much if I do. Um, but yeah, so... I've got a lot of stuff, but I just want to show you a little bit of what I've got going on today. And, you know, before I go to work, it's 7 a.m., which I don't know why I'm up this early, but hey, so that happens. This is the stuff I got listed last night. Uh, this calculator I sent to Amazon, um, I messed up. I thought this was the plus, like the Silver Edition C, which it wasn't. Um, so I've already returned it. I apologize for that. I can't find this particular color on Amazon for some reason. So I just sold it on eBay. Um,. Got a good dash he sold this morning. Then I got all this listed. Some ink. A box NES game. Uh, I actually won two completed box NES raffles. And I got this game in both of them. So I got to sell this one off. So yeah, I pretty much paid for the raffle by selling that one off. And then uh, GTA V. Good one. Um, one of the pawn shops, actually, where I got this and that stack of NES games was half off, so all this were like 250. I'll show you up here, so it's easier. Simpsons game, Yokai Watch 2, Legend of Legacy, Tetris Ultimate, Final Fantasy Explorers, uh, Puzzle Dragons, plus Puzzle Dragon Super Mario. That one's the other one that probably I would have not gotten again. Oh, and there's one more in here. Golden Sun, Yokai Watch, I also wanna have gotten that one again. Tetris Axis, Kirby Planet Robobot, this Black Sigil game. This is an expensive card only. This is a rare one. It's, it's like 30 bucks on its own, so that's a good one to look out for. And then a TMMT Arcade Attack. All those were $250 a piece. So, pretty decent score there. Um, yeah, pretty much all of them are selling like 10 plus, except for those two I pointed out. Uh, and then, then there's like, yeah, the $30 ones. Then we got all of this over here at the list. I got a box Wii U with an extra game, a controller. Um, another one of these brother uh, typewriters. I think I've showed these out before, but uh, these actually sell decently well. They might sit for a bit. Uh, tons of games and stuff from pawn shops and Goodwills. And then the VCR controller and a dance pad. I don't know if I really... If the dance pad's worth it, but it was two bucks, I figured it's worth the risk. And also yesterday I got this uh, Amazon shipment going out. This is a bunch of consoles, like three different PS3s, a PS2, a 360, um, some brand new games, some used games. I'm trying to, I'm trying to start putting a few games out into Amazon just to help it get completely ungated because when I move, I don't want to sell like liquidate my inventory i want to send as much into amazon as possible and video games and tech is going to be the hardest part so i'm trying to find stuff that sells in those categories to hopefully get me ungated because like you know i can't sell panasonic or sony on amazon which is i might be able to do sony but definitely not panasonic um yeah video games i'm restricting a lot of newer ones i don't know so anyways gonna get that shipped off it's about like Oh, like six hundred dollars worth of stuff, I think. Um, close to that. So yeah. Um, so I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm gonna probably pack my eBay orders now. I'll show you guys everything else that sold yesterday. So yeah, this is everything that sold. Um, as I was recording the last clip, the GTA Five sold, so I didn't put that away. Calculate I sold last night, but um. So yeah, anything else? A copy of GTA Five on PS4. Um, my brother wanted a. A PS4 Xbox one to play GTA 5 with um, so I was looking around I kind of found the games cheap so I just picked them both up found the Xbox one 
and so I'm gonna give him that one. So I just sold this one off. That's a duplicate copy, basically. Um, this game genie I picked up on his beat last weekend. Um, paid three bucks for it, so I get a little decent bit for it. Uh, I think yeah, game genies, game sharks are generally worth picking up. From my member, um, depends on the price, of course. This uh, bubble guppies game. It's not a game I would think would be worth on its own if focus would work. Come on, you can focus on it. Auto focus. Wow, it does not want to focus on that at all. There we go. Yeah, Bubble Guppies. It's an early childhood game. It's like worth about 14 bucks on its own, which is strange. Um, yeah, I've had that for a while. Not a very sought after item, I think, but you know, for collectors. Uh, and then Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection. Got this in Butte as well. Paid three bucks on it. Uh, I got some manga from Goodwill, actually. So this Shugo Chara. Got two of them together. Lot them up. I paid about I paid a dollar each for these. Sold the lot for ten. So I'll make a few bucks on it. It's not uh, that could be great sellers. Um, the other stuff might not sell as well as these, but I don't know. I, I'm trying out things, and if I could try sell manga for like. I'm into it like a 10 bucks total. I sure I can always get my money back and I don't know. I'd like to try to sell new things. And then uh, this is a 3DS XL. I else new 3DS XL. I got in Butte as well. Um, fully tested. It works. Um, these are great to get. I don't know why. Everyone seems to not think the 3DSs are worth much, especially like the newer models. They, a lot of parents will sell off thinking it's like the same as the old model. So they'll sell them for like 30, 40 bucks. And it's like, oh, great deal. And then uh, you get to sell for a hundred online. But uh, yeah, I, I I do great with new 3DSs and new 2DSs. So I'm gonna get this all boxed up and then just start listing some more stuff. All right, everything's packed up. Um, just wanna make sure. Uh, of all the USPS shipping supplies, I don't want to this address. Uh, these uh, flat rate envelopes are one of the best deals. I mean, they're free. All the shipping supplies are free, but most of the time, I don't use priority mail boxes that often because most of the time, uh, I find FedEx ground to be cheaper, um, or priority mail cubic on pirate ship usually is cheaper than priority mail boxes. All the other stuff doesn't seem to work. But flower envelopes, like that box is going to cost me, with a 3DS, is going to cost me 11 to ship priority. There's going to be like 9 FedEx, but it's seven seventy five in a flower envelope. So if you can get a box to fit into that, it's worth having around. Um, and I'm going to take this to the shipping center now, which I'm really glad of this last night because Amazon just sent an email saying that their fulfillment centers are no longer uh, taking new shipments for the next month or two weeks. So we can't send anything new in for two weeks, which is a bummer, but um, makes sense. They're trying to get the supplies and things everyone needs, like the cleaning supplies and all other stuff. This this pandemic's hitting everywhere. I thought Amazon was going to be taken off right now, but uh, thankfully I created this last night and it works. So we're going to get this dropped off um, and then I'm going to get some coffee. It's eight in the morning now. Yeah, I'll, I'll drop those off, get some coffee, and then come back and do some listing. Because my death pile is actually a death pile now. I gotta start picking stuff out. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Dropped off those Amazon packages and picked up my parents' dog, so it won't be on the cold all alone. Yeah, I still got... Uh, three... Hour stuff going to work two hours um yeah i guess we'll do some ebay listing start working on my actual income because i'm not gonna make anything at work this week if i even work i'm since i'm you know in the demographic that is at the higher risk i might try to say hey let me just stay home we'll see though jack you're a good boy you want belly reps no okay all right, so we're just uh, back at home. I think I showed it with my dog. Uh, got three hours till I have to work. Um, so I'm going to do another hour of listing, I think. Uh, listing and testing. And then I'm going to 
probably head out for the day because I need to do some recycling. Um, recycling and then some other stuff before work. Uh, maybe some last minute thrifts before fully quarantining. This is what I found in one thrift store yesterday. Um, official Nintendo cable for a dollar. That's always a great score. Always good to have these for your computer systems. Cookie Mama uh, was two bucks. That might be a bit high. I don't know if I'll make money on this. I was just... I rarely find video games at the thrift store, and I just kind of like buying them, because I talk with the owner. It's like saying, yeah, I like to buy the gaming stuff. So if it's there, it doesn't seem too expensive. They used to charge $5 a game. I'm just like, that's just too much. I'm sorry. Um, that's pawn shop levels of money, not thrift store. But two bucks. I should break even, hopefully. And then this... Sony remote, um, it's only a dollar. I do pretty well on remotes. Um, I have a lot, but a lot of them sell fairly quickly. Um, and they're pretty quick to list and easy to test. You just put fresh batteries in and press the button, see if it flashes, and then good to go. So I'll work on this and then start tackling the game pile. And then the dog's here. Hi, do you not want to nap anymore? Aw. All right, see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, so it's been about an hour of listing stuff. Um, not quite a full hour. I was just actually just browsing YouTube because I usually listen to videos where I list. And uh, one of the channels, Harry Tornado, which is one I watch all the time, he's doing like a live chat with people. And I was able to pop on there and talk to them for a bit, which is a lot of fun. So uh, I'm sure to give a channel a follow. I'll link it in the description. But this is what I got listed. Um, these two Wii remotes I paid seven fifty each for. And blue one's worth about 20 Yoshi one about 25 Battery charger I got for a dollar, it's about ten. You know the remote about ten. Uh, these two DS games I paid uh, fifteen for one case, five without. It's a Shovel Knight and Metroid. And then this Batman Two game, uh, it's not a good one. Even at two fifty, it's not gonna sell for much. But Far Cry Five for five is good. And then these I got at GameStop. Um, they're doing a buy two get two free game. Buy two get two free on a uh, games ten or less and. These are all at 10, so I paid about 5 for each. Um, not going to be a huge profit, but, I mean, enough to make it worth this stop, I think, um, if they all sell. Uh, not a bad choice for a little RA right now. There's not a ton of games in that category of 10 or less that are worth picking up, but definitely those first-party Nintendo ones, they generally sell quickly, even if they're not the best games. Um, so it's got a big pile of stuff behind me. I think when I get home from work tonight... I'm going to test that VCR and then maybe this typewriter. Um, at least one of those two to get listed. And maybe clean that PS1 controller. Because I want to make sure I'm not listing everything immediately. You know, I want to space it out. Um, but it's 10 o'clock. I worked at 11.30. And I want to do some take out the recycling and get to the post office before work. So going to do that. I'll see you guys after work if I even work a full shift. Alrighty, um, so I went to the post office, dropped it off, and decided to stop at Goodwill just one last time. Um, found three video games, actually. They put out some new stuff. These are the only ones that are worth it. Um, if I can get them out one-handed. We've got The Godfather. This one's kind of borderline, but, I don't know. It seemed good enough to try it. I won't make a lot, but I'll make a little. Um, Battlefront 2, this should be a decent one. Sometimes they're garage sale sticker of 20 bucks on it um but yeah that should be a good profit and this last one i'm not sure about either it's the forza motorsport ultimate alliance double pack it's cracked in the bottom pretty bad so what i might do is just sell the two discs individually and i guess sell the manual with it or is it double-sided i'm not sure um it looks like the manual is just uh, for Marvel, so that might be an option. I'm not sure. I'll I'll think about it, but or I might sell just an acceptable condition because that's pretty bad. I try to get replacement ones, but I haven't had garage sale season to buy a bunch of the cheap sports games for that. Um, but anyways, I would be at work right now, except for we're apparently not doing to go food. We're just doing to go beers, so the kitchen's completely shut down. We're having a meeting in two hours about it, so I'll go in and see what's going on with that. But until then, I guess I'll just keep working on eBay stuff and maybe some YouTube or, I don't know, try live stream on Twitch again. We'll figure it out. Alrighty, guys. So, yeah, I'm back home. I can't, 
I don't know if I talked about it yet. Um, yeah, my work is officially laid us off for the time being because they can't be open and they can't justify the to-go orders. It won't make enough for them and they only need one bartender and staff for to-go beers. So it's kind of it's kind of how it is. Um, so yeah, it's a little weird. Um, I got home, I filed for unemployment. Um, I took a bunch of food home because a bunch of it's going to go to waste, which... It's not great, but you know it's what it is. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a, a weird feeling. I haven't ever been unemployed. Of course, I've always had a job I could be working at. I feel always, yeah, I've always worked two, then like quit one. So I'm always at one. Now I'm at none. So um, yeah, it's weird. But I have a ton of stuff to list. Um, let's see if we can get this uh, resale stuff to. Uh, Hold me over until Kitch gets back. Um, kind of regretting some of my bigger purchases, but you know what? It's going to be fine. I have enough here to sell that I think I will sustain myself. So let's get on that. Um, I don't think anything else is going to happen today. Um, if not, if something does, I'll cut this. But if not, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you have a good rest of your day, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.